Well, how's it going today, guys? Uh, what is it? Monday, November. Oh boy. Let's see here. Four, five, six, seven. November 7th. Snowy. Not windy. Not storming. But everything is white, as you can see. Winter is here. Big Blue was parked in the shop. It's like minus friggin' 20 with the wind chill. Big Blue was parked in the shop. Not plugged in, but just parked in there. Oh, nice. The door wasn't closed very good. Got snow on the inside of the cab of Little Blue. Of course. Son of a bitch. Anyway. Um, it's another feeding day. We're into that routine now we got to get into that routine of feeding feeding cattle right it's just the way she goes let's see how this guy is going to start he's always been a fairly good starter but when it gets really cold we have had some issues with him uh not wanting to start so to speak he's got glow plugs but even those glow plugs take battery power. And you can see that yellow light right there. That's the glow plug light. out a little bit of throttle and there he goes he fired right up beauty beauty we're just gonna leave him sit here and run for a bit we got to get the shit spreader off of him get the coon unhooked from him and it's pretty much time to get a bale processor hooked up so we could do some bedding in the corrals we got one group of cows I'm not too worried about the cows but the bullpen I'm thinking they should have some straw last thing we need is to have them freeze their friggin nuts and then have to replace all the bulls in the spring, right? So, anyways, uh, just feeding here this morning, so I'm gonna grab a bale for the bulls. They need to be filled up, and uh, the calves will have to be topped off at some point today. Uh, and then the cows out in the pasture, they'll need something at some point or another today. So I'm going to try and get all my feeding done here right away and we'll see what happens after that. I'll let you guys go. We'll talk to you all later. Alrighty guys, well, there's one more bale to feed here. Bale to the bulls, bale to the calves, bale to the horses, and now bale to these cows out here. And they're half a mile north if you can make that out way out there anyway now some of you might be asking and before you guys start putting in a shitload of comments why aren't you grinding how come you're not grinding why aren't you feeding your cut feed well here's your answer to why we're not feeding cut feed because it ain't made yet uh, phoned and tried to book the tub grinder back, oh boy, mid-October to see where he's at because they farm quite a bit and they have a, like a 2,500 head feedlot too, the same guys. Anyways, um, uh, never did get a hold of them. They were busy with harvest and everything else. The last thing he was worried about is 
when he's going to come to my place and grind 150 or 170 bales or whatever the hell we grind, right? So, phoned him again when we were cleaning the last of the manure out and he got back to me and uh, uh, we're not going to be able to grind until basically end of November, first part of December. The transmission blew up in the truck apparently. So they're waiting on some parts and waiting on the truck to get fixed. That's where it's at. So yeah, we're not tub grinding right now. It'll be a while before we start tub grinding. Last year it was like, I'm trying to remember, it was right around the 15th, I think, of November. And this year it's going to be later yet. But anyway, that's, it's not the end of the world. Um, we've got lots of bales, so we can just unroll bales and feed the cows that way too, right? So let's go out and find our cows and bring them up closer to the yard. They went for a stroll yesterday in the friggin' storm, them buggers. They're way the hell north here, a ways. They see me, they're starting to come this way, the buggers. Maybe you guys can just kinda sorta make them out right there. There's that little bit of a knoll and they're just on the other side of the knoll and along the side of the back side of it. But anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. We'll get these cows closer to the yard and I'll bring you back then. Alrighty guys. Well, I got the back window open. I'm out here in the hunting shack. Just got out here. So I need to open this one, and this one, and this one. So how do we do that? Well, I want to show you. Got this little flap right here. Move that. Drop your clear window down, which is a little bit snow. We'll clean that off. And unhook that right there then push that up do that hook our rope see the rope just hooks right there holds the window up right then we can take our flap and close it our clear window see so we got to do that with all three windows and then we're good to go sweet I don't even know if this light is oh that light is working awesome they're just battery operated little lights the one in the back is not working anyway I want to let you guys go while I get everything set up here and uh, we'll bring you all back a little bit later talk to you then alrighty well you can see out there it's freaking snowing it's not a very nice day but right here up against the side of our shack we had all kinds of apples laid out and pumpkins the pumpkins aren't quite all gone you can see one there a couple pieces or one right there, another one right there. There's a few up by that bale. There was apples all over the place. That was from two days ago. And uh, yeah, my windows are starting to fog up a little bit because they got to adjust to the cold because, doop, there, got our little buddy heater going to warm the shack up a little bit. So once the shack warms up a little bit, then I'll uh, lose a bunch of these clothing. 
Uh, so now we'll just sit out here until dark and see if we see anything, right? Wish me luck. Talk to y'all later. He's a good size, nice body, <clears throat> but that's a whitetail, and we're out here for mule deer, and none are coming in at this point. He's a, a small basket on him, but four by four, nice little whitetail. later alrighty guys well it's another one of them lovely days had a little bit more snow today it's nice out it's warm and it's not blowing like a son of a bitch right now but uh, spent the day feeding cows and pushing snow basically so here we are later in the afternoon already and uh, oh yeah, played in the piggy pet for quite a while. But anyway, here we are, late afternoon already, and we're just heading out to go sit in the shack, hunting shack. So if I see something interesting out there, I'll bring you guys along. If not, we'll see y'all tomorrow. Talk to you guys later. Nothing wrong with that guy, except it's a white tail. And I got a few more bucks over by the bale. Later, guys. Alrighty, guys. Well, hopefully you can hear me. We're out in the hunting shack. 6 a.m. Um, just sitting here waiting. Getting the shack warmed up a little bit. Got a couple of deer that have come into the blind area. 
Uh, I can't really see much right now. It's still pretty dark, but with the moonlight. Yeah, you can't really see nothing in the camera. But they're starting to come in. So we'll just sit here and hang out and give it time. Talk to y'all later. Well, guys, she's an SOL day. My window's a little fogged up. That one, I don't know why that one always fogs up. Because this one don't. Not as bad as that one, anyway. But it's like 8.30, quarter to 9. And so far, we have only seen white-tailed does. No muleys and no bucks of any kind. Got to enjoy this, right? I'll probably hang out here for another hour, then I'll head home, do some choring, have some breakfast slash lunch, and then come back out later on this afternoon. Talk to y'all later. Alrighty, guys. Well, we left the shack, and because we have to feed some cows too, right? They just can't sit in the shack all day. So... I fed the cows here kind of uh, right in behind the barn area and I gave a little bit into what we call Crowl 3 so that they get used to coming into Crowl 3 for their water now from a water bowl versus a dugout because I really don't like them drinking water direct out of the dugout in the middle of the winter especially this time of the year. It's not froze over overly, froze over overly hard. And all we need is to have six, seven, eight cows go stand on the middle of that goddamn dugout and break through and drown in the friggin' dugout, right? So, you can see inside that crowd where I unrolled a little bit of a bale. Right in there. See that? And then the one on the far side over there, she's at the water bowl right now, having a drink. So, and then these guys are out here eating everything else that I put out. I put out uh, a slough hay bale and a green feed oat bale for them. So this will keep them going for the rest of today. this somewhat colder weather that we've been getting and now with all the snow so on and so forth they've got a what it's called a winter dysentery it's kind of like a cold uh, it gives them the shits is the big thing and uh, it basically just has to run its course throughout the herd yes you can treat for it but you give it a week 10 days it'll go through the whole fucking herd and then everybody will uh, everybody will be fine after that so yeah they're looked after now so now I can get on to doing something else which would be more than likely we got to grind some grain for the piggies and so I'm gonna let you guys go for now uh, I'm gonna go have a coffee and some lunch and we'll fire up little blue and get him hooked to the to the mill and we're gonna grind a little bit of oats and a little bit of barley mixed together maybe some wheat that we picked up off the road way back over that way that somebody had spilled and uh, that'll be our piggy food talk to y'all later alrighty guys so I had a few guys ask about how are the piggies doing There, that's how the piggies are doing. I had one guy tell me that they're probably sitting around 100 pounds already. I don't know, I don't think so. 
That's four of them right there. We just filled their feeder. So it's 10 pails oats, 10 pails barley, one bag of uh, pig feed. And was that one full square bale? Yeah. And one square bale second of second cut alfalfa. And there's the other one. And this is what we did in the shack. They got a ton of straw in here right now. They literally bury themselves in there. And if you guys remember, we had that netting for outdoor pen. Well, we changed it up and I had built these panels for CP years ago when she had sheep. And uh, we set three of them up here for... So they just got a small outdoor pen now because they don't need to be coming out here like this so much. Other than to eat, that's about it. Anyway, that's her for today. We'll talk to you all later. Have a good one.